I, I haven't had a lot of um, friendships or relationships with people that um, work in creative spaces. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious, what do you think those relationships with fellow artists and, you know, conversations that I'd imagine you'd have about the importance of art and the impact art can have on, on, on communities? What do you think those relationships have taught you about the importance of art just on a societal level? Um, you know, I, I'm not sure if you've heard of, I think it's like Plato. It's something to do with Plato. It was in my philosophy class. Mm -hmm. um, and it was, uh, we were learning sort of just like an exercise in society building and how like Greek philosophers thought uh, what would be the best, most optimal way to build a society and how sort of like conservatism and conservative individuals or risk averse individuals sort of congregate in the middle. but you know, even though that's important because risk aversion is important in some situations, mm -hmm. in the borders and in the fringes where the artists, and those are the people that explored and came in with innovative ideas. Mm -hmm. And there's sort of this idea of like, what a cohesive society looks like is sort of like a balance between the two. Mm, yeah. What do you think, you know, speaking with people on those fringes of art, what do you think that's taught you about the role art plays in society? Mm, from talking to those people on the fringes, what role does art have? have in our society um i mean if you talk you know if you talk to the really far out ones they tend to um i think that it shows you like that they they live in a more in a place without boundaries you know that like it, like it may i mean i i think of myself as a pretty creative thinker and yet when i talk to people who are sort of living in the art space there it's like they there are no boundaries to the to the possibilities um one of the i went uh actually this summer to go see um frank lloyd wright's uh taliesin in wisconsin he had two taliesins one was in wisconsin one was i think in arizona it was in the desert anyway um one of the things they talked about um on the tour was um he had a bunch of shells sitting next to a window and um, he would use them as teaching aids. And one of the, but, and the, there's no real proof that he said this while holding a shell, but he said, he said, you know, when you're, when he would say to his students, like when you're choosing to be an architect, realize, you know, that, that a, that a snail lives in a shell, like that, that a house can be something you've never even imagined before. Mm -hmm. We get very locked into like our idea of what a house is. So I, I think like the, the artists that live really, f they, they see the connections between everything and that, um, and they can come up with the most, um, the most creative solutions because they're sort of untethered to, to like what all of our preconceived notions are. One of the, like there's a really typical, um, uh, drawing exercise that you'll do in, in like in drawing classes where they'll, um, they'll do a still life, but they'll flip everything upside down because your concept of what something looks like, um, you're trying to break that. You're trying to just break what you're looking at into planes of color, planes of shadow and light and things like that. And so you're trying, like you're trying to turn your brain so that it's not looking at a chair. It's looking at just a shape. And so like, I mean, that's like a, that's like a tiny starting place for how artists think about the world it's like and the and um yeah and the more that they live in it you know I, I worked on the um Solowit retrospective that was here um in 2000 and one of the and uh so I was one of the people drawing doing wall drawings here and um so it was five weeks it was about nine or ten hours a day and I think I had two days off in that time and like the place that my brain went during that time was like completely removed from like whether I had opened my mail or whether the trash had gotten taken out. Like mm -hmm. I was just in a completely different place. And that was actually what made me want to go back to school and study painting. Cause I, I just, I just wanted to be in that place in my brain. Mm -hmm. Um, more of the time, if I, if not all the time, I wanted to go and live there for a little bit. So I feel like artists just, they bring something back from the place where they li live. And if they're sharing it with us, um, there's a real power in that, you know? Yeah.